Hello everybody and welcome to another night of the SSBL. Day three of week six coming at you. And we're starting things off with the Angels and the Wildcats. Battle in the Epic Galaxy. Wildcats coming in tops in the division at four and one. And Angels coming in two and three. Will be Ilya Page, as you can see on the mound for the Wildcats. And Mark McBain for the Angels. Tim Grubb strikes out swinging there. One away. And that's back-to-back -back strikeouts now for Page. <clears throat> Two down. And it's Emily Prentice to the plate. And that's grounded to Elena Love. That's a 1-2-3 inning for Page, and we'll go to the bottom of the first. Sandy Bash, Jackson Moore, the fourth, and Joshua Durr do up. Grounded to RGD in time at first, one away. Let's see, Mark McBain's last start. He went five innings, gave up one earned run. Five hits, three walks, four strikeouts. One home run, a 1.8 ERA with a 1.6 whip. And was good for 7.2 strikeouts per nine. Quickly as two away, here comes Joshua Durr to the plate. Take a strike there, make it a 3-1 count, but loses him there. And Durr will take a two-out walk, which will bring up Bass Luggington. Sluggington gets that one down into center. And the Wildcats have two aboard now with two outs here in the bottom of the first. He's a Bobby Jimbo with RBI man active. But he falls behind 0-2 to McBain. Doesn't chase high, one and two, and fouls off another one. Follow. Just fouled off five pitches here, and puts that one through into left field, and that will load the bases for the Wildcats. It's Henry Longshanks to the plate. Bain got the first two outs rather quickly, but struggling trying to get the third one here. Already up to 26 pitches here in the first inning. One and two to Henry Longshanks. Swing and a miss! The Wildcats end up leaving the bases loaded and will go to the top of the second. Henry Bjornsson and Dia do up. This one's hit well into left center. Back it goes, doesn't have enough. A tough dive straight into the wall. I think Longshank's gonna have a compressed vertebrae there. But it's a leadoff triple for the Angels. And this one's deep into right. Bjorn Bjornsson at the wall. Oh my goodness! 
What a jump to keep it in the park from Bobby Jimbo. Even the tall portion of the wall. What a fantastic play. It does end up being an RBI double, and the Angels are on the board first. But I don't think I've seen anything quite like that one before. Jimbo. Oh, and then it's muffed by Ilya Page. What is happening? Page is now tense. Runners at the corners and nobody out for the Angels. This one's grounded to Bash. That will be a Dragon special. But another run comes to score for the Angels and it's 2 nothing. it hard but foul be a two and two count here to ruby green dexteres swing and a miss but a kooky top of the second plates two runs for the angels and they lead two nothing going into the bottom half it will be seven eight and nine due up for the wildcats Two and one to AC Milan. Takes a strike there, two and two. Swing and a miss. McBain gets the strike out there. I'll bring up Elena Love. Two and one the count now. And that one swung on and backhanded by Newman Muller for out number two. And number nine, the catcher, Someday. That one just fouled down the first baseline. This one is into the gap in right. That's going to get down and hop to the wall. And once again, the Wildcats trying to get something going with two outs. It's a two-out double for Someday. And now bringing us back to the top of the order, Sandy Bash with the runner in scoring position. First pitch called strike to Bash. Similar placement, but just a bit lower, one and one. And that's fouled off for a one-two count. Popped up foul territory. And that will be playable for Uno Dia to make the catch round number three in the Wildcats strand another. We'll go top of the third still, 2-0 for the Angels. Wash Jotley, Tim Grubb, and then Sophie Neuenmuller do up. Wash Jotley looking to bounce back from a tough week against the Unicorns last week. has been hitting the ball like there's no tomorrow, but gets rung up there. That brings us to the top of the Angels order again, Tin Grub. Swing and a miss, one and two. And Tim Grubb into left. That one is deep, and that one's off the wall. Tim Grubb will have himself a one-out double. The Angels are managing to hit these to the extended portions of the wall that cover the bullpen that are helping me keep these balls in. Otherwise, the Angels will have two home runs here so far. The ball managing to stay in the park for Page. And that's a four-pitch walk to Neuenmuller. And it's two on, one out here for Emily Prentice. A chance for the Angels to get some more. This one's grounded to Bash Sluggington. This could be a Dragon Special. It's not. 
as Prentice just able to beat it back out to first. So runners now at the corners for Carol Henry, two away. Carol Henry hit the triple that last inning that started off the scoring. Swing and a miss, one and two, the count here. A big pitch from Page. Fouled off, we'll do it again. Swing and a miss, that one dropped out of nowhere. And the Angels now leave a couple stranded. We'll go to the bottom of the third. Still two to nothing. And Jackson Moore, the fourth, puts this one into left center. Back it goes, and that one clears the wall, and it's two to one. Just clearing the wall there, 421 feet. And the Wildcats cut the deficit in half. One and two now to Joshua Durr. Fouls off out one. Out runs full here. And swing and a miss. The third strikeout for McBain tonight. Brings up Bash Luggington one away. And Sluggington ties it up. No doubt about it. Two to two. Two solo shots for the Cats, and we got a brand new ball game here in the bottom of the third now. That's in time to Newell two away, and bring up Henry Longshanks. Two and two, the count to Longshanks. That one's in the dirt for a full count. And that will be a walk. Two walks to go with five hits and two earned run off the two solo shots for McBain here through two and two thirds. Wildcats just kind of toying with him. And that one's in the dirt and the go-ahead run in scoring position now. Lots of speed on the runner, but that's grounded to Tim Grubb in time for round number three. But the Wildcats do tie things up as we go to the top of the fourth, two to two now. It's Bjornsson, Dia, and Batani. It was Bjornsson who hit the wall in right as Bobby Jimbo kept it in the park on that jump attempt, a rob attempt. Chops this one to Sluggington. Throws it to Page, who makes the catch here. Round number one. Page is only charged with one earned run. I guess the other run scored off of the error that she made in that second inning. Three and one to Dia. And that's back to the mound. Easy play for Page, two away. And here comes Otani Banani. Floater. Oh, and it's over the head of the shortstop, Elena Love. And the runner will reach a two out single. Brings up Ruby Green Dexteres now. And that's up the middle, so a couple base hits. Gets two runners aboard for the Angels here. 
They're trying their best for a two-out rally. And it's none other than Wash Jotley coming to the plate with RBI man active. First pitch swinging fouls it off. After four weeks, Watley was hitting 692. One and two the count here. Base hit would prove big for the Angels to retake the lead. Swings and misses and strikes out for the second time today. And we go to the bottom of the four, still tied at two apiece. Eight, nine, one, do up for the Wildcats. McMaiden comes out to start the bottom of the fourth. See if he can eat up another inning before Walter Malone comes in. That's hit hard, and it's a full count for McBain. And that one is into right. That will be a leadoff single. And that will do it for McBain. In comes the aforementioned Walter Malone. Runner going for second. Throw is very close, but not in time, and the runner is safe. Oh, my, and that is spiked into the ground, and Wash Jolly throws home. The throw is not going to be in time, and the Wildcats take the lead 3-2. And that one is trouble as it gets into the corner. And the Wildcats will have runners at the corners and nobody out. That one's too red. There's it. Oh, she spikes it in the dirt. It would have been a surefire dragon special. But she got too excited and short armed it to first. And the runner gets back and prevents the dragon special. It remains two on and only one out. And that's up the middle. It's four to two, Wildcats. Ruby Green Dexterez comes up with a bit of a blunder there. It wouldn't have prevented the run from scoring, but still two on and only one out. Full account here to Bash Sluggington, who's having a day. And Bash Sluggington deep into right. Back it goes and off the wall. The base pass clogged up for some reason. And all that does is load the bases instead of scoring at least one, if not two. But RBI man Bobby Jimbo comes up. One and two, the count to Jimbo. Popped it up, infield fly will be called. And that is out number two. And here comes Henry Longshanks with the bases still loaded. Two way now in the bottom of the fourth. Wildcats lead four to two. And he skies this one into left center. Emily Prentice is there and the catch will be made for out number three. So the base is left loaded. But the Wildcats do take their first lead of the night. Four to two as we go to the top of the fifth. The top of the order due up here. Third time through the order for Ilya Page. Five hits through four, earned run. A walk and six strikeouts. Swing and a miss. Seven strikeouts now for Page.
Somehow activated here for Neuenmuller. And she rips one down the line. It's going to be foul. Just missed the yellow line at the base of the wall down the right field line. This is a high fly ball deep into right. She may have done it here. Jimbo at the wall. It's off the top of the wall. That one, of course, he doesn't jump for. And it's a one out double. I must have some sort of wall setting on my computer set. And page nine is done. In comes Tiberius Arcerius. Emily Prentice at the plate. One swing baseball could tie it right back up here. Fouled off one and two and came in on Sirius. But she slaps that one through the left side of the infield and the Angels will have runners at the corners. And it's Carol Henry to the plate. She's hit a triple so far here tonight. And the count 2 and 0. Oh. Runner is going, hit and run was on, but it's fouled off. And that one finds his own 2 and 2. And K Man comes on for Sirius. That one's it through the right side of the infield, and a run will score 4 to 3. RBI single for Carol Henry. And up to the plate comes Bjorn Bjornsson. Sirius has allowed his first two batters to reach. And Bjornsson into right. This will tie the game. Four to four. Now you're scoring the Angels with runners at the corners and only one out for Uno Dia. And Sirius is tense. First pitch called a strike to Dia. Now one over her head. One and one. That one fouled back and now activate K-Man. Coupled fouled off here by Dia, staying alive. And that's up the middle. The Angels will retake the lead. Uno Dia with an RBI single up the middle. It's five to four. Still only one out here in the top of the fifth. And it's Otani Banani to the plate. A slow roller to Milan. Milan goes to second for one to first. The Dragon Special is turned. A huge Dragon Special to get him out of the inning. But it's five to four now going into the bottom of the fifth. Both teams racking up 10 hits here halfway through this one. What can Walter Milan do now with the lead? That one's two Neumuller. She makes the catch for round number one. Brings up Elena Love now. Swings through that one, one and two. Fouled off. Wildcats fouling off a lot of pitches tonight. Really making... The Angels pitching staff work for it. That's at least four fouled off of Melon there. And she connects with that one, and it goes to the right side of the infield. That will be a base hit in the tying run aboard for the Wildcats now. And that will bring up Someday. Doing pretty well. A double, a single, and an RBI for her so far. Milan about to throw his 40th pitch. It's a 3-1 count today. And that's ball four. Dave will be aboard, putting the tie and run in scoring position for Sandy Bash. And that will do it for Milan. In comes Alyssa Rainford. Try and get the Angels out of the fifth, and it's a slow roller to Grubb. Grubb to Dexteris, Dexteris to Neuenmuller for the Dragon Special, and we'll go to the top of the sixth. Dexteris will lead things off here. Right. 
Tiberius comes out to start the top of the six. He's still tense. Four hits through two-thirds of an inning and two earned runs to his name, but strikes out Dexterous one away. And here comes Wash Jotley. Hitless so far tonight, two strikeouts. And first pitch swing grounds that one right back up the middle for Sandy Bash. That brings the mojo back up for Sirius. And two quick outs here, top of the order, Tim Grubb. He falls behind 0-2. And strike three called Sirius with a 1-2-3 inning. And we'll go bottom of the six. Jackson Moore, the fourth. Joshua Durr and Bash Sluggington do up. Moore got the Wildcats on the board first with a solo shot. And he rips one into center field, but right at Emily Prentice, one away. Moonshot into right. And that will be caught by Banani. Two down, and here is Bash Sluggington. He is locked in. A home run. He tied the game with a solo shot. And he's got two singles as well, but pops this one up into left. And it will be Tim Grubb, and the sixth inning is three up, three down for both sides. Top of the seventh now as the Angels still lead here five to four. It's two, three, and four due up in the lineup. Newenmuller one for two. I never read anything for serious, did I? Let's see. The various are serious. Five and a third, three earned runs, six hits, three walks, seven strikeouts. One home run giving up a five ERA and a 1.68 whip. As Neuenmuller draws the walk, Emily Prentice comes up. She's ahead 2-0. That one finds his own on the changeup, I believe. And fouled off to make it an even count. Came in, activated for Sirius. And that's up the middle. Takes a weird hop off the mound. But it still turns into a 4-6-3 Dragon special. And I'll bring up Carol Henry with the bases empty. Sirius gets pulled. Fanny Minshew comes in now. Minshew and, uh, let's see, three and a third innings. Two earned runs, four hits, a walk, two strikeouts, a 5.4 ERA, and a 1.5 whip as she strikes out Carol Henry. And we'll go to the bottom of the seventh. Jimbo, Longshanks, and Milan do up. As for Reinford here, she's pitched an inning two-thirds. One earned run, four hits, a walk, two strikeouts, a 5.39 ERA, and a 2.99 whip. But has done well keeping the Wildcats silent here in one and two-thirds of an inning. And gets the strikeout to start off the bottom of the seventh. That's right back to the mound. Reinford grabs it nicely to Neunmuller for out number two. And here comes AC Milan. Reinford locked in. Only has used 15 pitches to get through two and a third and make that 16 through and two and two thirds. And we'll go to the top of the eighth. Wildcats still trailing by a run here. Angels do up. Bjorn Bjornsson having a nice day. A lot of batters doing well. Bjornsson here, a double, a single, two RBIs for him today. But he falls behind 0 and 2 to Minshew. Lays off a couple, two and two the count. And pops this one up into center field. And under that one is Longshanks for our number one. Right. 
Two and one, the count to Uno Dia. And Dia skies this one a mile high, just a few feet in front of home plate. And someday we'll make the catch round number two. And up comes Otani Banani. One and two to Banani. Grounded to Bash. In time for round number three. Mojo down there on Banani and we'll go to the bottom of the eighth. Still a five to four. Eight, nine, and one do up for the Wildcats here. Elena Love, two for three, two singles. Leading things off. She rips one, but Grub makes a nice snag. One away. Someday, two for two. Double single walk and RBI. And she floats one into right. And Banani is there to make the catch round number two. Two quick outs here. Sandy Bash, the top of the order. First pitch strike on the curveball. That one misses. One and one. Fouled back. One and two. Chopper down the third base line. Dia charging the throw. Not in time. And the tie and run is aboard for the Wildcats. That one hit off the end of the bat by Sandy Bash, and she's aboard with an infield single. And it's Jackson Moore, the fourth, coming to the plate. One swing could give the Wildcats the lead going into the top of the ninth here. Runner is going, and it looks like they're going to pick her off. Don't count your chickens. We saw the mythic misplay that last night, but they do tag her out. And now we go to the top of the ninth. Angels holding on five to four still here. Eight, nine, one, do up for the Angels, trying to get some insurance. First pitch swinging though, AC Milan, in time, one away. And here's a tense Wash Jotley, 0 for three today. Law of averages, not being his friend over the last couple of games. Two and two the count. He hits that one foul. And this one's a grounder to Milan. In time, two away. Mojo up for Minshew. And here comes Tim Grubb. And Grubb rips one into the gap. That's going to be his second extra base hit of the day. As it bounces off the wall and Grubb has his second double. Brings Neuenmuller to the plate. She's also got a double today and two walks. And ahead in the count, 2-0. and oh. And the curveball misses, 3-0. and oh. And that's a four-pitch walk. Puts two aboard for the Angels and Emily Prentice to the plate. Two on, two out here in the top of the ninth. A one-run game favoring the Angels. And that is popped up into center field. And that will be caught by Longshanks for out number three. And we go to the bottom of the ninth. One to tie to the win for the Wildcats. And it's more Durr and Sluggington due up. Reinford staying in the game. Three and two-thirds of an inning in relief. But Moore hits one up the middle for a base hit to start off the bottom of the ninth. Tying run is aboard. Winning run coming to the plate in Joshua Durr. High pressure situation. First pitch call the strike. That's fouled back. A 1-2 count here. Swing and a miss. One away. And here is Bash Luggington. He's been a dangerous man tonight for the Wildcats. Three for four, a home run and two singles. Rips that one foul, 0-2. Oh, oh, dangerous take there, but it pays off, one and two. Swing and a miss! Sluggington goes down and everything lays in the hands of Bobby Jimbo. 
One on, two outs here, bottom of the ninth. First pitch strike to Jimbo. Jimbo's one for four. He fouls that off, 0 and 2. That one misses, 1 and 2. Fouls that one off. In the dirt, 2 and 2. And it's a full count. Runner will go. Oh, foul. Swing and a miss! Ryford strikes out the side, and the Angels pull off the upset 5 to 4. What a game. The Angels pull off another upset. Five to four here over the Wildcats. Reinford needs to be the MVP of this one. She was unbelievable in relief. Wildcats do out hit the Angels 13 to 11. Everyone getting a base hit for the Angels tonight, except for Jotley. Multi-hit games for Henry, Bjornsson, and Grubb. Uh, 12 hits for the Wildcats. Three hits tonight for Sluggington. And pairs for Moore, Bash, Love, and Day. Two home runs for the Wildcats. Grubb with a Sobrero. Win goes to Mellon. He goes one and a third, giving up one earned. Five hits, a walk. Save goes to Reinford. She goes four and two thirds, no earned. Two hits, four strikeouts. Loss goes to Sirius. He goes two and a third, two earned, four hits. Minshew came in for relief, did pretty well. Two and a third, no earned. Two base runners and a strikeout. And Reinford is your top biller here on the MVP Followed by Bash Sluggington and Someday. Well, heck of a game from game number one. And that shakes up that Heroic Galaxy division quite a lot. Now it's a tie at the top between the Unicorns and the Wildcats. With the Angels, I believe, only a game back. So crazy, crazy things happening this week. We'll see if game two continues that trend. Skulls of Rock ball players coming up right after this. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the SSBL on Twitch.
here we are, game number two, ball players and the Skulls of Rock here at Emerald Diamond. We'll have an Emerald Diamond doubleheader to end the night. Got Pacifica Northwest on the mound for the ball players. And Virgil Niblet on the mound for the Skulls of Rock. That's a leadoff walk to Cat. The Skulls team trying desperately to get the offense put together. Shook up the batting order last week as the Skulls are sitting towards the bottom of the league in offense. Worst in batting average and second worst in runs per game at only one and a quarter. But two runners aboard here in the top of the first has things going. Carlos Ramos to the plate. Ramos hitting 214 on the season. And that one. Oh, Rick Dillastick with an excellent play there. Gets the Dragon special on a ball that otherwise could have been really dangerous. Probably saved two runs there. And it's two down. Runner at third for Flip Hecker. Two and two, the count from Northwest. Popped up. Rick Dillastick makes his way back on the line and makes the catch route number three. The Skulls get their first two to reach, but come up empty and will go bottom of the first where Dillastick will lead things off. Virgil Niblet in his first game as that one's hit into center field. Dilla Sticks starts off with a single. He went five and a third against the Bombers, gave up only one earned run, seven hits, a walk, struck out five for a 1.69 ERA and a 1.5 whip. But has his work cut out for him again, The even though not... So far, results-wise, as that's a base hit up the middle, so the ball players starting things off in a similar fashion, getting their first two runners to reach. Brings up Patty Potts with an opportunity here to get the ball players to strike first. And she strikes out swinging one away. Their one game against the Sparrows kind of skews their run total in their favor, but 7.75 runs per game. That's good for eighth in the league offensively. Here's the big bat of Bojack Oon, RBI man active with two on, but falls behind one and two. And grounds that one to Welder. Welder to Hipshaw Jr. They won't turn the Dragon special too much speed on Bojack Oon, but that will put runners at the corners now for Papa Dog. And that's up the middle, just out of the reach of the second baseman, and a run will score, and it's one to nothing ball players. Whoops, I believe that's Welder at second. Just not quite long enough to make that stop. And the ball players strike first. One and two here to Toby Barker now. Full count. Runners will go here. And it's popped up into left. And Galileo Cat will make the catch for out number two, uh, three. And we'll head to the top of the second. One to nothing. And Kevin Mannequin to lead things off for the Skulls. Right. 
Rounded right to Potts, and that'll be an easy play for her, one away. Jose Meja to the plate with one down. He takes a 3-1 count. Fouls that one off to make it full, which activates tough out. And he will draw a walk. So runner now aboard for Buddy Moon. Buddy Moon hitting just 154 on the season. Two for 13, but one of those did go out of the park. He misses there and gets thrown out. The hit and run backfires completely, and that's a strike at a moon. And we're to the bottom of the second. Still one to nothing. Bottom of the order, due up for the ball players. Popped up just behind the mound, and it will be Welder making the catch there. And that one is torched into left, and that one is gone. It's two to nothing, ball players. Iron hands with the solo shot. That one's into right, but not quite as deep. I'll be caught by Moon for round number two. All players with their first opportunity this season to make up some ground towards the Stingers as they were upset earlier this week by the Cyclones. A chance to close the gap here in the Nova's division. And we'll go to the top of the third now, two to nothing. By largely different records, five and one for the singers and two and three for the ball players. The run differential is only one run benefit to the stingers plus eleven, as to the ball players plus ten. But the ball players did have that big win over the Sparrow, sixteen to one. Apart from that game, the ball players have scored seven runs. And with the two here, make that nine outside of that one game this season. Oh, and that's in the dirt, and that is an error from Theo Thunder. Seen a lot of errors and misplays from third base this season. Let's see if that comes back to haunt the ball players as we reset the lineup. Galio Cat leading things off in the number one hole. Two and one the count. Rips that one right to Bo Jackoon, though, for out number two. Hit hard, but right at the shortstop. And it's Alicia Kim to the plate now with two away. Got off remains one and two to Alicia Kim. Northwest is locked in here. A hit and two walks given up through two and two thirds and a strikeout under her belt. Alicia Kim, though, giving her what for trying to stay alive at this plate appearance. Count runs full. And that is ball four, so another walk issued by Northwest here. Two on for the Skulls, but two outs. Here comes Carlos Ramos. Off the 
swing and a miss. One and one the count. In the dirt. Whoa. That pitch had a lot of movement on it. And that will be a walk, and the bases all of a sudden are now loaded for Flip Hecker. As Northwest struggling with her command now. 2-0 and to Hecker. Four walks issued by Northwest, and that's up the middle for a base hit. It's hit hard, and runner retreats back to third. Good play there by... I believe it's Kim at third as Juice Armstrong in center has a very solid arm, but the Skulls of Rock get one on the board, making it two to one now. And Kevin Mannequin comes to the plate. Meatball, but it's popped up by Mannequin, and this will end the inning. Nathan Tucker is there. Round number three, and then the bases are left loaded. But the Skulls do find their way on the board 2-1 to one as we go bottom of the third. Number 15. So that error does come around to score for Thunder. Pops this one up, but that will get out of play. 2-2. Two and two. Hit hard, but a diving stop by Kipshaw Jr. The throw in time. Nice play by Kipshaw Jr. there at short. I'll bring up Patty Potts again. Full count. Seeing a lot of fouls tonight. We're seeing a lot of not patience, but spoiling pitches tonight here by some at some bat bats. And it pulls off in Potts' favor as she draws the walk. Which brings up Bojack Oon with a runner on and one out. And he puts one in to right. That's gonna get down in front of Moon, but Moon cuts it off nicely. But not before Potts can go first to third to put runners at the corners for Papa Dog. All players can get that run right back here. All Papa Dog needs to put this into play. That's that one off though. Owen to the count. And Niblet strikes him out there. Two away. Big strike out there for Niblet. Runners going, hit and run was on, but Toby Barker fouls it off. And again, one and two the count. In the dirt. Swing and a miss! Niblet gets out of the jam. It remains two to one and will go to the top of the fourth. Meha, Moon, and Kip Shaw Jr. do up. I believe I've ever read off what Northwest did in her first start. Four and a third, two earned off of three hits, three walks, five strikeouts for a 4.16 ERA and a 1.38 whip. And another walk issued by Northwest. She is struggling mightily with the command. Five walks issued tonight. Almost like we're back in the original patch of SMB3 where walks were galore. And Patty Potts gets the nice play there and can't turn the Dragon special, but they do get the lead runner. But this one's too thunder and this one will be a Dragon special for sure. Around the horn they go. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. Tucker, hands, and Armstrong. 
you up. Soul Roller up the middle, Kipshaw ranges over and throws it first in time. Iron Hand draws the walk. Now the count to Juice Armstrong. Takes a strike there. One and two. Swing and a miss. Nibble it with another strikeout. Let's say he's up to around four or five. That's a four pitch walk given up to Deal a Stick. And the ball players will have two aboard here for Theo Thunder with two outs. Some okay speed on the base pass. It could score both of them. But Niblet now has forgotten how to throw strikes. That's back to back walks. And the bases are now loaded for the ball players, and it's Patty Potts to the plate. One and one to Potts. This is one, two and one. Two and two now, swing and a miss. Oh, and that one's gonna get by Mannequin. But everyone stays put, but the bases are loaded, the count is loaded, and the outs are loaded. Swing and a miss! Niblick gets out of another jam. It remains two to one. And we'll go to the top of the fifth. Nine, one, and two. Do it for the Skulls. A lot of runners left aboard here in this one. That one is ripped, and that one's into the gap. That's going to trickle into the warning track, and that's going to be a leadoff double. So the tying run in scoring position for the Skulls here. And that will do it for Pacifica Northwest. Adrian Walker will come in. And she gives up a hit into the gap as well. That's going to tie the game up. It's an RBI single and it's 2-2. Two to two. Walker has struggled now in... Her last outing gave up a couple of home runs in that Stingers game that gave the Stingers a 3-0 win and now has given up a hit that brings into a tie game here in the top of the fifth at a 3-0 count to Kim. Walker finds his own there and bounces back to a full count. K-Man active for Walker. Swing and a miss from 3-0 to the strikeout. One down now, Carlos Ramos to the plate. And Ramos puts this one through the left side of the infield. And the Skulls two aboard now. Here comes Flip Hecker. Falls behind 0-2. Swing and a miss. And it's up to Mannequin now. Two on, two out here. He's 0 for 2. Swing and a miss there. One and two the count. And came in once again for Walker. 
Swing and a miss. She strikes out three, but does give up the hit that ties the game. We're tied up at two runs here, bottom of the fifth. Four, five, and six do up for the ball players, the heart of their order. And that will do it for Niblet. In comes Sydney Weber. Sydney Weber. So far on the season, five and a third, only one earned run, four hits, two walks, five strikeouts, a 1.69 ERA, a 1.12 whip. Grounded to Shaw in time at first for out number one. And that one nicely scooped up by Ramos. Oh, but then thrown to Weber and she muffs it. So both sides with a pitcher that muffs a throw to first. And it knocks Weber right down to tense, which is not what you need when facing this ball player's lineup. And instead of, and that's up the middle. Oh, and it's gonna backfire for the ball players. The hit and run right up the middle put Kip Shaw Jr. right on top of second. He picks up the ball, steps on second, throws to first for the Dragons special, and will go to the top of the sixth. Not too often do you see a hit and run backfire that drastically. Tough out versus K-Man here. Mayha versus Walker. Mayha with two walks tonight, but strikes out swinging there. Walker has gotten four outs and all of them are via the strikeout. And Moon puts this one up the middle. Cut off nicely by Armstrong to prevent extra bases. A one on one out now for Kipshaw Jr. And Kipshaw Jr. will get pulled in favor of his father. That's quite the early pull, especially defensively. We're still only in the top of the six in a tie ball game. And run was on, but fouled off two and two now to Kip Shaw. But Shaw puts this one down into right, and he'll be aboard. And the Skulls once again have two aboard and only one out. Fran Welder comes to the plate. And he breaks the 2 2 tie. Takes a first pitch strike from Walker. Four hits, four strikeouts for Walker. And she's already up to almost 40 pitches in just an inning and a third. That is hit, and that one's into right, but only this, only good enough for a single. The, the Skulls go station to station. The bases are loaded now for Galeo Cat. The pressure is all the way up. Walker not doing all that well, all things considered. Backs Cat off the plate, one and one. Swing and a miss there. Came in, will be active on a 1-2 pitch with the bases loaded. That one's up the middle. Galio Cat puts the skulls of Rock on top, 3-2. to two. Six hits off of Adrian Walker. And Leisha came with RBI and active, places one inside the bag, down the third baseline, and that's going to get into left field. Toby Barker can't handle it. One run is scored, a second one's going to come, and it's five to two skulls. And that will do it for Walker. Seven hits and three earned runs. And in comes Leonard Northwest, and that one's down the third baseline in fair. That will clear the bases. It's seven to two. Holy cow! What is happening this week in the SSBL? And that is a moonshot into center field. That is gone! Nine to two!
absolutely crushed into center field 445 feet and the skulls of rock have broken this one wide open and another one down the third baseline and Barker can't handle this one it's only a single though But holy cow, seven runs here in the top of the sixth. This one's popped up into left. Barker will be under it. And that's made for out number two. Buddy, we've hit around the lineup. Buddy Moon started this with that single. And that's a slow roller up the middle. And that will bring the top of the six to a close. But seven runs for the Skulls. Nine to two as we go into the bottom of the sixth. Shaw is now at first. Ramos takes over short. And that is cracked. Nathan Tucker, see you later. Nine to three. I have a feeling this game is a long way from over. So coming into this game, the Schools of Rock all season have scored eight runs and just scored seven in the top of the sixth. This one into foul territory. It's gonna stay in play and Buddy Moon will make the catch for round number one. Up comes Juice Armstrong, he's 0 for two. That one's going to stay foul. Oh, that's a tough hop. It eats up Welder, and the runner will be safe. So an error here by the Skulls. They've had a couple. We've had what I would qualify as like three or four errors in this game, but I think the game only recognizes one by... Thunder. Chance here. Weber tints again. And that one's through the right or the left side of the infield. And now the ball players have two aboard with only one out. Can they get something going? And here's the aforementioned Theo Thunder. He's bounced back from his error. Neutral. Chance to atone for his sins, but lines it right to Shaw. Shaw makes the play for out number two. But couldn't try and he tried to turn the dragon special, but Thunder got back in time, so much easier play for Welder, and the error does not come back to bite them. Oh, the skulls do have two errors recorded. Okay. 8-9-1 do it for the skulls. They now lead 9-3 after the solo shot in the bottom of the sixth. And here is Kip Shaw to lead things off. This one into left at the wall is Barker, and he makes the catch round number one. This one hit through the left side of the infield. Welder is aboard, brings us back to the top of the order. Galeo Cat. And Cat puts one into right field and two aboard for the Skulls. And that brings up RBI man Alicia Kim. First bit swing pops it up, though. Infield fly is called. 
That's a big second out for the ball players, trying to keep this nine to three. We have Carlos Ramos to the plate. This one, oh, Rick did a stick. <laughs> Just able to scoop that one before it gets by him and take it to first for out number three. That saves some runs. Remains nine to three as we go to the bottom of the seventh. Sidney Weber to start off the bottom of the seventh. One and two, the count to Bojack Oon. Rounded to Welder, and that will be out number one. Mojo up for Weber, though. She'll be back to neutral at very least. Three and one to Dog. Fouls that one back for a full count. Swing and a miss at a ball that was nowhere close, but it falls all the way to the backstop, and Dog will reach on the strikeout. And Barker is going to get pulled here in favor of Jerry Thunder. And that one, another one getting by Mannequin, and he'll be into second. So Mojo down on Mannequin, two straight pass balls. Skulls defensively are doing their best to try and give this one away. Three and one to Jerry Thunder coming in for Barker. Full count. And that's a walk, so two aboard now for the ball players. Only one out, Nathan Tucker to the plate. He homered his last time up. That will do it for Weber. In comes Jesus Shuttlesworth. Swinging this there, one and two, the count. This one's popped up foul territory. It's going to trend into, and Buddy Moon will make the catch there for out number two. Runners will stay put now. And that comes up, Iron Hands. He's locked in after he homered off his first plate appearance. And he puts one into left again. This one is deep at the wall. It's gone. The second home run for Iron Hands makes it a 9-6 ball game. Don't touch that dial. It's 3-0 to Juice Armstrong. A couple of strikes there, full count. Rounded, Welder ranges over and makes a nice play to get out of the inning. But the ball players inch ever so closer, 6-9. to nine. As we go to the top of the eighth, four, five, and six do up for the Skulls. Jerry Thunder takes over in left. Just a three-run game now after the three-run shot by Iron Hands. And so the misadventures of Kevin Mannequin behind the plate do come back to bite the Skulls. And by quite a significant factor because that home run was hit with two outs. Otherwise, Hands wouldn't have come up to the plate that half inning. Because the third out would have been recorded with Tucker. Two and two now to the aforementioned Mannequin. He is one for four. And rightfully, Tinson strikes out, swinging on a pitch well inside. And Northwest is done. In comes Hai Chu in relief. Without activated for Jose. And he gets rung up there. 
Bottom eighth we go. It's the top of the ball player's order. Two and one the count to Dila Stick. It's hit two singles today. Full count. Swing and a miss. Shuttlesworth starts off the eighth with a strikeout. We go back to Theo Thunder, who is back to tents. One and two now the count. That one is foul. Popped up. Welder takes a few steps back and makes the catch for round number two. Now bring up Patty Potts. Fouled off one and one to Potts. 0 for 3 with the walk today for Potts. And she grounds this one to Ramos. And Ramos gets it to first round number 3 and will go to the top of the ninth. Skull still leading 9 to 6 here and it's the bottom of the order due up. Buddy Moon 1 for 4 here. That's right to deal a stick for out number one. The first baseman, number 32. Oh. Right. Kip Shaw for the third time. Right. Came in as a pinch hitter for his son. Got on board and later scored. Full count. Foul back. We'll do it again. And that is ball four. Kipshaw will take a walk. One in two the count. Oh, and that's a bean ball. Not the way you want to trend for the ball players. As the Skulls now have two aboard and only one out here in the top of the ninth. Haichu is tense. Galio Cat has been a busy man. Three singles, a walk, two RBIs, but he pops this one up. Infield fly is called as Potts is under it. That's out number two. And in comes Alicia Kim. Third time around, I believe, with RBI man active. Paid off once and didn't pay off once. And that time it's through the right side of the infield, left side of the infield. But the Skulls can only go station to station and the bases are loaded once again for Carlos Ramos. He takes a first pitch strike. That one misses one and one. Slider in there for a strike one and two. Misses high two and two. Full count, full bases, two outs in the top of the ninth. The pitch popped up. That was ball four, I believe, but it'll be caught by Rick Dillistick for out number three and we'll go to the bottom of the ninth. Skulls holding on to a three-run lead. It's four, five, and six due up for the skull uh, for the ball players. Two and two, the count to Bo Jackoon. Just misses their full count. And that is ball four, so we'll lead off rock for the ball players. I'll bring up Papa Dog. Shuttlesworth is starting to run out of juice. It's 
It's a 2-1 count to dog. Oh, that almost hit him 3-1. and one. Oh, and he swings at that one. It's popped up, and Carlos Ramos says, thank you very, very much for out number one. And Shuttlesworth will get pulled in favor of Aaron Santea to try and finish this one off. Jerry Thunder to the plate. It's a one-two count. Fouls it off. And that's up the middle. Base hit, and the ball players will bring the tying run to the plate. And it's Nathan Tucker, one for four with a home run. Takes a first pitch strike. Two and one to Tucker. Fouled back two and two. Fouls off another. Swing and a miss! Santea gets the strikeout two away, and it's none other than Iron Hands who comes to the plate. Already two home runs under his belt, a solo shot and a three-run shot. Another three-run shot here ties us up at nine, but he pops this one into left at the Wallace Cat, and he makes the catch for out number three, and the Skulls of Rock take this one for the ball players, nine to six. Nine runs off of 16 hits and survived two errors. Ball players only with nine hits, but do score six runs. I think we'll see Iron Hands on the MVP board. He goes two for four with two home runs, four RBIs. The only other multi-hit game was Dilla Stick at two for four. Let's look at the skulls. Busy, busy, busy. Three for five is Cat and Kim. Two for five, Ramos and Hecker. And three for four was Welder. Niblet goes four, gives up two. Weber goes two and a third, gives up three, but gets the win. Shellsworth goes two, gives up one, and Santea gets the final two outs and gets the save. Loss goes to Walker, who in our last two outings has been atrocious. One and a third, five hits, seven, or no, five runs, seven hits, and four strikeouts. Northwest gave up two through two and a third, and Haichu goes an inning and a third, gives up a couple of base runners and a strikeout. Iron Hands, your top bill, with Alicia Kim and Flip Hecker following. Well, game number three, I am now completely and totally terrified for Sparrows and the Bombers come up right after this. You're watching the SSBL on Twitch.
And here we go, last game of the night, Bombers and the Sparrows. Sparrows looking still for their first ever divisional win in team history. As they got swept by the rest of the Phenoms last season, it's Dice K versus Windswept Enriquez. Three and one to August Hendricks. Tiles that off for a full count. Swing and a miss. Dice K starts things off with a strikeout. Dice K in his first outing went seven and two thirds, one earned run, 10 strikeouts, four hits and a walk, a 1.17 ERA, and a .65 whip. Grounded to Pooh Holes. In time, two away. Now bring up Cameron Kahn. And that's up the middle. Kahn will be aboard with the two out single. And just to let you know, there is a slight lineup change for the Bombers in. Right field is Mickey Dedel Crusha, as it was as we reviewed, and actually, um, Ken Iffy Jr. needed to serve time from the injury back against the Mythic, but that wasn't realized by the time the Bombers High Rollers game was recorded and submitted to ESTV. So he's serving that injury here against the Sparrows, and this one is put into right. The Sparrows. Looking for a two-out rally here with back-to-back -back base hits. Adelina Strickland coming to the plate. Dice K flirting with 20 pitches now in the first inning. One and one the count to Strickland. Swing and miss, one and two. Slow roller, Britton eats it up, throws it to first in time for round number three. And the side is retired. We'll go bottom of the first. Britton, Nick Hugh Jr., and Mickey Detail Crusher will be due up. Hey, Dud on Enriquez. But strikes out Britton there, one away. Enriquez went seven and a third her last outing. Only one earned run, seven hits, two walks, six strikeouts. A 1.23 ERA and a 1.22 whip. Hey Dud once again here. Swing and a miss. Iffy Jr. or sorry, Q Jr. goes down. Enriquez not caring about K Dud here early, and that's grounded right to Khan. That's a 1-2-3 inning for the Sparrows, and we'll go top of the second. Seltzer, Larsonian, and Vegas do up. Two and one to Spritz Seltzer. As Dice K is having real struggle with his command. A lot of balls so far in this one. And that will be a leadoff walk. Brings up Lynn Larsonian to the plate. Struggling a bit on the season, but crushes this one into right center. Back it goes, and that one is gone. Lynn Larsonian struggles, be damned. And he puts the Sparrows on top, two to nothing. That's laced down the third baseline, but foul. And Dice K bounces back with a stride out of Vegas. And that'll bring up Lee Quid. That one stays in front of home plate, and that'll be out number two.
And that is past Graham Britton. That's going to get into center field. Two and one, the count to California. This one, a tough dive by Irons. He can't handle it. And everyone is safe, and it's two on, two out for the Sparrows here. The third baseman, number 10. Bombers not doing themselves any favor. Dice KS 10, a much easier play here for Irons. And that will retire the side. Larsonian gets the Sparrows on the board. Two nothing as we go to the bottom of the second. Four, five, six, do it for the Bombers. Two and two to Murph Kelly. Fouls that one off. This one to slow roller up the middle. Hendricks is there in time at first for round number one. Down the first baseline, Jerry Magana with a diving stop. Tim time to Enriquez, two away. And that brings up Al Bart Pujols. Nope. 3-0 to Pujols. That one finds his own. That is ball four, and the Bombers will have their first base runner of the game. I'll bring up Ferris Irons. One and one to Irons. Fouled back. One and two. K Dud on Enriquez. Swing and a miss, and that's thrown down to first in time for out number three. And we'll go to the top of the third. Still two nothing Sparrows. Four, five, six, do up for them here. Two and one to Jerry Magana. Swings through that one, two and two. This one, a floater. Lexi Luther makes the snag. One away. Fouled back 0-2 to Adelina Strickland. Slow roller to Pujols. He's up with it. Throw is in time for round number two. That brings up Spritz Seltzer. Rounder to first. Lexi Luther with a diving stop. Thrown to K in time for round number three. A one, two, three inning four. Dice K will go bottom of the third. Eight, nine, and one. Do up for the Bombers here. Dam Armstrong Hula to lead things off for the Bombers. And she falls behind 0 and 2. Nope, 2 and 2 now. And strike three called Mojo up on Enriquez. She's going to be locked in. That brings up Danny Diamonds. Fouls that one back, one and one. Right. 
Swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Enriquez. She's up to five Ks here through two and two-thirds. Two and one, the count to Gray and Britain. Fouls that one off, two and two. Popped up into left center field and Larsonian will be there for round number three. Top of the fourth we go, two to nothing, still your score. He'll lead things off, followed by Vegas and Lee Quid. Two and one to Larsonian. Difference maker in this game once this game so far. That two run shot. But he gets struck out there, one away. Oh, and two to Vegas. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number four for K. Starting to bounce back a bit after the inauspicious start. One one now to Lee Quid. And that's grounded to Britain. And that's in time for round number three. And we'll go bottom of the fourth. Hugh Jr., Detail Crusher, and Murph Kelly do up. And that one is into right center field, and that will break up the no-hitter. And that one gets under the glove of Larsonian, and that is going to be a leadoff triple for Nick Hugh Jr. Runner 90 feet away now for Mickey Didel Crusha. And he puts one into center field. The Bombers are on the board 2-1 to one now. Now bring up Murph Kelly. Enriquez no longer locked in. She's down to neutral. Runner is going. Throw is not in time. And Crusher has himself a stolen base. One, two now to Murph Kelly. As he fouls that one back. And another. That's grounded to Hendricks. He'll go to first. Might have gotten Crusher if he throwed it to third, but chalk that up to defensive indifference. And the tying run now 90 feet away here for Lexi Luther. Swing and a miss. 0 and 2 the count. Slow roller to Khan, and she'll allow the run to score, throwing out. Luther and making a tie game at two apiece. Now bring up Albert Pujols now with two away. Fouls that one off. Inside three and one. That's fouled off full count. Swing and a miss at ball four. Strikeout number six for Enriquez. Enriquez, yeah. And we'll go to the top of the fifth, tied up at two. Top of the order for the Sparrows here. And that's under the glove of Dice K, and the leadoff runner is aboard here for the Sparrows to start off the top of the fifth. California comes to the plate. Six hits so far tonight off of Dice K and a walk, two earned four. Rounded to Britain. Britain goes second for one to first. A Dragon special. Nice turn by the defense. Puts two away. And right to Britain for out number three. And just like that, we go to the bottom of the fifth. Seven, eight, and nine all do up. All 0 for one with a strikeout so far.
Starts off a strike to Ferris Irons, and that one's in there. 0 and 2 the count. Adud has not made much of a difference for Enriquez as she has striked out six here tonight. Struck out, not striked out. That's chopped foul. Two and two still to Irons. That's a slow roller up the middle. Hendricks fields it to Magana in time for round number one. That'll bring up Armstrong Hula. And Hula one hops it to Hendricks in time for round number two. And Danny Diamonds will come to the plate now. Oh, and two to Diamonds. And Diamonds gets rung up there, called third strike, and will go to the top of the six, still tied up at two apiece. Four, five, and six do it for the Sparrows. Jerry Magana to lead things off. One and one the count. Dice K has actually managed to get to locked in now. Swing and a miss. I believe the scoreboard has him at eight strikeouts, if I read that correctly. Sure, that might. No, doesn't matter. One and two, the count to Strickland. And that's another strikeout, no matter how many he has. Down to first in time for round number two. And I'll bring up Sprit Seltzer. It was five, so it's now six. One and two, the count to Seltzer. Fouls that one off. Just misses two and two. That misses inside, full count. And that will be a walk, so patience sown by Seltzer. Draws the walk and brings up the man of the hour so far for the Sparrows, Lynn Larsonian. Had the two-run shot, but grounds it right to Luther. She steps on the bag for out number three and will send us to the home half of the sixth. And it's the top of the Bombers order due up. And Enriquez is back to locked in. Just surrendering two hits and a walk in this one. The Bombers making the most of what little offense they've put forward here tonight. Written 0 for 2 so far. Inside full count. And that will be a walk. Lead off runner aboard for the Bombers. Brings up Nick Hugh Jr. who tripled his last time up. He later scored. First pitch swing. He pops it up into left center field. And it's Seltzer there for round number 1. Both pitchers at roughly the same pitch count in the mid 80s. First pitch to Crusher is a ball. That one swung on and going to get down inside the line. That's going to roll into the corner. And from first to third goes Britain. And the Bombers, the go-ahead run 90 feet away now for Murph Kelly. Pressure is all the way up to neutral goes Enriquez. Popped up into center field. Let's see if that's deep enough to send Britton. Larsonian makes the catch, and Britton's going in. It's a horrible throw. It's offline, and the run will score easily, and the Bombers take a 3-2 lead. A bad throw from Larsonian in center. Allows the run to tag up and score, and the Bombers to take their first lead of the game. And in comes Jericho McKinley in relief of Enriquez. Let's see what McKinney has done. Four and a third, three earned runs. Five hits, three walks, three strikeouts, a 6.24 ERA, and 1.84 whip as he 
Wax Luther popped up into center field. Larsonian will be under it for out number three and will go to the top of the seventh now. Bombers ahead three to two. Eight, nine, and one due up here. Spud Vegas to lead things off. He's 0 for 2 in tents. Oh, and two the count. This is inside. Rounded to first. Luther is there. Steps on the bag for round number one. And that will do it for Dice K. In comes Narcissio Dixon. Dixon with an up and down season so far. Gave up all those runs to the Angels back in week three, but then shut down the high rollers in three innings to win the game last week. He gets a ground out for out number two and now faces off against the top of the order, August Hendricks. He's had a nice day, two for three, two singles. Fouls that one off for a 1-1 one, one count. Lays off that pitch, two and one. Swing and a miss, two and two. Full count now. And that one's going to be through the left side of the infield. Three hits for the leadoff man, Hendricks, tonight for the Sparrows. Puts a runner aboard now for California. Tie and run on base. California fouls off the first pitch into the third base stands. Three and one to Fornia. Dixon can't find the zone and will lose her there. So it's a five pitch walk. The Sparrows with two on now. Cameron Kahn to the plate. Some okay speed on the runners. That's four straight balls from Dixon. Finally finds the zone there for a one one count. Swing and a miss there. One and two. That is. Hit well, but foul. Another one fouled off. And that one is going to be trouble. That's going to get down into center. A diving stop by Diamonds is going to prevent that from being extra bases, but it will score the runner, and it's tied up at three apiece. A fantastic effort by Diamonds. Allows only one run to score, and it's 3-3 now in the top of the seventh. Runners at the corners, two outs for Jerry Magana. And he's got a one-two count. He's one for three today. And Magana into right. Back it goes, and that is gone. And it's six to three, Sparrows. It's bad. Narcissio Dixon for the Bombers, 425 feet. And the Sparrows retake the lead. This one into left, but Nick Hugh Jr. closing on that one for out number three. But a four run top of the seventh puts the Sparrows back on top six to three. Seven, eight, nine to up for the Bombers. Oh, and two to Ferris Irons. Two and two. Draws the full count. Rounds it to first. Magana in time for round number one. Armstrong Hula 0 for 2 on the day. Fouls that one back, two and two the count. It's that one into left. That's going to get down for a base hit. Danny Diamonds 0 for 2 with a 1-1 one, one count. 
Swings on this one. Magana to Vegas. Back to first. Can't turn two. And we go to the top of the order. Graham Britton 0 for 2 today with a walk. So you're going to miss 2 and 1 to Graham Britton. Checks on Diamonds. He's back in time. That misses three and one the count. Britain puts this one in the stands. It's a full count now. Runner will go. And that one's going to be a base hit through the right side of the infield. He's going for third. Strickland the throw in time. Adelina Strickland sends us to the top of the eighth. Danny Diamonds got greedy and remains six to three. Brett Seltzer strikes out to start the top of the eighth. And Larsonian is going to get his second of the day. Seven to three Sparrows. And that's a bomber special. Sparrows 10 runs all season, seven tonight against the Bombers. And three home runs tonight. where they had hit three all season. And we go bottom of the eighth, seven to three the score. Hugh, Crusha, and Kelly do up. That's laced down the third baseline and going to get into the corner. Hugh Jr. will have himself a leadoff double. Three zero to Dido Crusha, and Crusha. That one's knocked down by Vegas, but he'll be safe with an infield single. Brings up Murph Kelly. Runners are at the corners. Nobody out here in the bottom of the eighth for the Bombers. And that one is caught by Vegas for out number one. Great play by Vegas, saving two runs. Luther, 0 for 2. 3 and 0 the count. And that is ball four. The bases are loaded. And we're in one swing territory for Al Bart Pujols. That will do it for McKinney. In comes Madison Bowl Ball. Two 
2-0 to Pujols, who's 0 for 2. 3-0, nowhere to put Pujols. Pops this on up in foul territory. Will it get out of play? It just will. This one's into right, back it goes. And it's over the head of Strickland. Runners got jammed up on the base paths and only one run will score, seven to four. Now the score with Ferris Irons to the plate. Ferris Iron has a grand slam on the season. He hit it against the Mythic. Fouls this one off for a 2-1 count. Inside three and one. Crushes that one into right. Station to station once again go the Bombers at seven to five. Armstrong Hula to the plate. Bull ball is tense. Pressure's all the way up here. Almost hits Hula, 2-0. Oh, Cameron Kahn with a nice diving stop, and that's gonna be a huge Dragon special. The Sparrows defense coming up clutch tonight. Saved at least four runs in that half inning alone. And it remains a two-run lead for the Sparrows going into the top of the ninth. Mahomes strikes out to start off the top of the ninth. Full count to Cameron Kahn, and Kahn will draw a walk. And here is Jerry Magana. He is more or less the difference maker now. He hit the three run home run as, oh, a nice behind the back throw by Britton. Can't turn two, but does get the lead runner. He hit the three run shot that gave the Sparrows the six to three lead, which Larsonian then added on top of with a solo shot into left. To get us where we are now at seven to five here in the top of the ninth, two outs with the runner aboard. Strickland 0 for 4 in tents. She's behind 1 and 2. And this is going to Bomber Special into center. Sparrows just hitting it where the Bombers are not. Two on, two out now. Sprit Seltzer 0 for 2. One and two the count. Grounded to pool holes. The throw in time for out number three. And we'll go to the bottom of the ninth. Bombers need at least two, and it's nine, one, and two. Do up for them here. Diamonds an 0 for 3 and tense, but he stays in the game. We've seen him get pulled for less, laced into center field, but right to Larsonian for out number one. One and one the count to Graham Britton. One and two. Swing and a miss. Last hope for the Bombers is Nick Hugh Jr. A triple and a double for him tonight. Swings at the first pitch, fouls it off. Grounded a third, Cameron Kahn in time and the Sparrows complete the trifecta of upsets here on day three, seven to five over the Bombers. 12 hits tonight for the Sparrows, three home runs, two from Lynn Larsonian, one from Jerry Magana. Three hits from Hendricks, two for Khan, Magana, Larsonian, Bombers with nine hits, 
three, four, five, six of them from the top third of the lineup. Win goes to McKinney. He gives up two through one and a third. Enriquez strikes out seven through five and two thirds. Save goes to Bull Ball. Loss goes to Dixon. Five earned through an inning. And you've probably seen the last of him in his major league career. Arsonian Magana, then Dito Crusha wraps up the MVPs. Thank you all for tuning in for day number three. Hope you have a good rest of your night, everyone. I'll see you all next time. Have a good night.